Because everybody is up smashing with you and today I'm going to be reviewing Splatoon 3 for the Nintendo Switch. So let's get into this. So the first thing I'd like to start off with is when you start off Splatoon 3, you are asked if you would like to port your Splatoon 2 data. I personally love this because it allows us to continue using our beloved weapons or costumes that we loved so much for all these years. And also, you know, when it, I think it works for certain games. For example, if the Legends of Breath of the Wild sequel Tales of the Kingdom lets us just port everything from Breath of the Wild, and, you know, we're going to be starting off with the Master Sword, Highland Shield, and all of that. It's going to be easier. So, I think it works only for, like, online mode, you know, like, online games. And, and you know, I love this, you know. It's really exciting and fun to play. And the next thing I would like to talk about is I love when companies listen to fans. And Nintendo kind of listened, you know. For example, one of my complaints was about Splatoon 2 not letting us vote or choose boards like Mario Kart. And in Splatoon 3, you get to choose different modes with the you own unique boards that are different. And it's a overall, I enjoy it, you know. I do wish that, you know, in like the regular mode, we do get to vote the boards. But this is like a step to a good, you know, to it. So, yeah. I would also say that my first impressions, you know, were great. I find it really fun and interesting. And overall, it was just wonderful to have new things all around you know the bow map like i mean the bow weapon as you can see here from the cover of the game i enjoyed that as well it's one of the things that i really you know got good at at first and continued using it and it's really fun and overall i love it i do love to go around or walk around run around and shoot like that so this one you can do that but it's more of a stealth thing or say if you defend a teammate and you know you shooting, you know, the enemies trying to get to the base or this and that. So, I think that's really cool. Next thing I would like to talk about is the story mode or the creator. So, the story goes like this. The enemies made off with the great zap fish and now we as Agent 3 of the new Squid Beak Spittoon have to get it back from the Arctarians. So, now equipped with our brand new hero suit, we are off to fight the Arctarians and from here the story begins. Really nice, interesting and I enjoyed it. Next thing I'd like to talk about is, um, it didn't get me thinking, you know, will we see Agent 8 ever again? And I was just, you know, it got me thinking, and I like this, you know, speculating and all of that. And, you know, I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm not even going to have a spoiler section in this review due to, I wanted to feel as natural as possible without any spoiler stuff. So, let me just say there is a wonderful thing, you know, that I really enjoyed playing through the story mode and through the game itself, you know. I personally, you know, due to many things, you know, didn't have enough time to finish the story mode. But what I can say is I got really far. You know, Splatoon 3 really took a lot of time. And it's not just because I wanted to write a review. I had this review done, like, like I don't know, like a couple of days ago, right? And I want to say... Wow, this game really is exciting. It's definitely one of my favorite games of all time. And on the Nintendo Switch. And definitely one of my favorite games of this year. And let me say, the improvements from the last game. Along with the new introduction of new things. Weapons and all. I think this game is definitely going to live on for years to come. Until Splatoon 4 comes out. Probably in the future. And you know... I remember on my top 5 things I want a Splatoon 3 video, I said something like, I hope Nintendo makes the Splatoon 3 feel like a true sequel. And I am happy to say that it does. And I really am excited. You know, if this game gets DLC, which most likely it will do to, let's be honest, Mario Party Deluxe get DLC, then I think anything could be DLC, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I think if they could, you know, more maps or more boards, more weapons would be cool. And... Yeah, pretty much that's it. Mostly boards, you know. I would love to have even more places to fight in. I think that would be exciting and fun. I would pay a little extra for that. And, yeah, I think, you know, another thing I would like to talk about also is when, a little issues. Let's talk about the issues I have. Now, you know, uh, unfortunately, Splatoon 2 has, you know, issues. For example, the online mode kind of sucks due to this being a besides the single player mode let's be honest a lot of people are playing like 90 percent of people that play splatoon goes online you know that, that's where it is you know yes they play other modes too but that's the main focus is this is a online mode game and 
it sucks that Nintendo's online service kind of sucks. You know, it keeps kicking me out. I'm in the kill streak. I'm having fun. We're doing the objective. You know what's the worst thing that really got me mad? Is that whenever we're playing the league battles, because if you say you turn off the game and, uh, you know, you just, you know, quit out of nowhere due to angry, due to you being, you know, feeling angry, then you get punished, right? You can't play it for like, say, half an hour or 20 minutes, something like that. And, you know, due to this game being brand new and Nintendo not like releasing a finished product, it still needs some updates. It's kicking me and other people out of the game randomly. Like I said, I am keep getting punished for quote unquote quitting or leaving to Wally. You know, that's how the game punishes us. And it's not fair. It makes me feel like, yo, I just play it. Whenever this happens, I just play another game. King Fighters 15 or any other game that released this year. Because it is it is annoying, you know what I mean? Like, I'm playing a game due to your awful online services, Nintendo. You are punishing me. And my, and my internet's great. My laptop works. PlayStation 5 works. Other games work. Other Nintendo games work. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And Splatoon 3, that's the issue that I really had. And it's it sucks because it's not a game issue. Like... You know, like, oh, if you're going to buy this game, you know, in the future, it's going to still be there. Nintendo just has to have a simple request, update the game. That's it, you know. And you know what's weird? I noticed this. Whenever games do not need updates, the companies update them. Whenever games need updates, it takes so long and before they update it. And it's, you know, like King of Fighters 15. It worked perfectly since launch. I had no issues. And then they keep updating that game. They still updating that game. I think there was an update today. I don't know. But yeah, overall, I, I think that's an issue that I really hope gets fixed. Because it really is inconvenient. So the next thing I would like to talk about is the store. Now, specifically, Harmony's store. Now, I enjoy, you know, we have different things. We don't get to walk in, like, a hub world inside the store like I wanted to, which kind of sucks, you know? Like, I hope maybe they updated to do that. But, you know, it's a nice store, a nice uh, aesthetics in the store and all of that. You know, colorful and wonderful and just cool. I enjoy it. Next thing is a small side thing. Uh, let me know if you've experienced this. You know, all of the five years of having a Nintendo Switch, I rarely ordered the nintendo switch fan going off and it, this game in dark mode i know i just noticed it a few times while playing you know a few days different days while playing and i was like oh wow this game is probably this advance it's pushing the nintendo switch hardware to its max and it's nintendo's trying to keep up with the ps5 probably you know like you know, new games and all these games being released and and i'm excited this is this is wonderful. I was happy. I was like, yo, this this is wonderful. I enjoy this. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I find the uh, loud noises of fans and vents of consoles, you know, annoying. Um, but surprisingly, my PS5. I know a lot of people make jokes saying, oh, it's a lot of noise, but it's quiet. The PS4, on the other hand, you know, they say the jet black PS4. It does sound like a jet. That's why the name's jet black because it sounds like a jet once it gets hot. But besides all of that, just wanted to, it's something that I heard recently, you know, like, oh, my Switch is, you know, I hear it, this and that, or, you know, this and that. So I, I felt like, you know, bringing it up, leave in the comments if you Switch makes noise, you know. Also, a small recommendation if you're new to Splatoon as a whole, I recommend going into a recon mode because this, you know, I did this. I had to do this with the bow and arrow, this, this bow in it, right here, you know in the front of the it's the weapon in front of the what was it the case of the game and yeah it, it's it was helpful you know at first i was i was good and then i got better better so it's a really cool mode i love it and yeah pretty much you know oh in splatoon 3 i realized that you know splatoon 2 it's my favorite game but then splatoon 3 it's slowly becoming better and better so but i, I would say splatoon 2 is like a street fighter you know of what was it because you know when i think about like street fighter games like the best games of a series let's go to final fantasy right? i would say seven nice loved it you know this is like splatoon 2 to me is like seven you know and this splatoon 3 is like the new one the fresh one like yo this is this is wonderful 
maybe one day Splatoon 3 is going to, you know, hit me in the right spot and then I'm just going to love it even more. So we'll have to wait and see. One thing that I loved on Splatoon is the online multiplayer that, you know, I, I like when it does work, you know, like I said, it works perfectly. It's smooth. It's good gameplay. Fast paced. Makes me hyped up. You know, makes me want to keep going and going. And I enjoyed that, you know, the thrill of Splatoon 3 and the new different things, you know, it's really enjoyable. Unless you have the bow and arrow. Like I said, you know, that's more, I use that more as a uh, defending my teammates when we're doing objectives. And, you know, I love that. But when I'm going head on and Zap 85 or the Zappa or the Nintendo Entertainment System Zappa, that's what I mean. And I love that weapon as well. I'm happy they brought it back from Splatoon 2. It's a really wonderful gun. Also, real quick, I just want to admire one thing before ending off the review. I love the hub world. I can't express my love for it more. Yeah, we, you know, let me say this. Before, like, our online matches, we are in the hub world where everyone's there. You know, we all, like, playing, like, that. I believe they call it hopscotch or squid scotch, where you, I'm standing still, and someone jumps over me, I jump over them, and, and then they reach shooting each other, and, I mean, uh, running around, it's really fun, you know, overall, it's exciting, you know, thing, I love it, this, you know, and more games should have this, you know, because usually it's like, oh, we're standing still waiting for everyone to join the game, or waiting for every, the game to load, or, you know, it's kind of boring, you know, so Splatoon 3, we get a hub wall, we get to walk around until the game starts, and it's wonderful, and I love it, and I hope more games does this, do this, because it's just exciting and fun. I love Splatoon 3, so after playing Splatoon 3, I would have to say this is an amazing game, one of my favorite games of all time, and an improvement over Splatoon 2. I will be playing Splatoon 2 probably in the future, maybe, you know, rank up as max, you know, try to rank up the best as I can. I think it's like uh, rank S, triple S, tri triple uh, plus, I I'm not sure, or double S is the max, I'm not sure. But I will max out on Splatoon 2, and then Splatoon 3, I'm definitely maxing out on. I, in fact, I'm, I'm, I've am I'm been working on the ranked ever since the launch of the game, and I've been having a wonderful time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, bye.